Okay, uh, so for today, we're going to be taking a look at uh, TOEFL lead uh, speaking uh, that we have. And so we'll take a look at how uh, the uh, different prompts for the speaking section that we have, and we'll read through the prompt and uh, take a look at a sample response, right, that we'll be taking a look at for today. Uh, so the prompt would read, right, uh, students should be allowed to bring cell phones into the classrooms, right? And so the sample response would be, right, uh, I believe uh, that students should be allowed to bring cell phones into the classrooms for the following reasons. To begin with, uh, students should have their phones uh, nearby in cases of family emergency. Uh, for example, your grandmother could be on her uh, could be on her deathbed, and if you happen to have the phone with you, you would be able to have your final conversation with your dear grandmother. This would be impossible if your cell phone was not with you in the classroom. Uh, furthermore, students can stay healthy with the alerts the government sends through their cell phone. For instance, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, the government constantly reminds its citizens to wash their hands and keep social distancing. Having a cell phone with you in class will constantly remind you to wash your hands and stay healthy. Therefore, these are the reasons why students should be allowed to bring cell phones into the classroom. It is it, uh, is it important to learn about other cultures or ignore them completely? Include examples in your response, right? Uh, so once again, uh, we do have the first uh, response about uh, bringing classroom or bringing cell phones into our classroom, right? That we have, and so uh, here we do see right how uh, uh, bringing a cell phone will help us to remind ourselves to stay healthy, wash our uh, sort of hands, right? And also for family emergency, right? We might want the uh, cell phone at hand, but again, uh, there might be other responses like how uh, it might be disruptive for classroom uh, learning, right? So once again, uh, there might be different views on this, right? That we might be able to explore, right? But this would be a, a, a great uh, sort of student response that we might see, right? Of why uh, cell phones should be brought into class, right? That we have. Uh, the next response would be, uh, uh, or prompt would be, uh, is it important to learn about other cultures or ignore them? So you could take either side, right? Uh, depending on your ideas, right, that we have, uh, or ignore them completely. Uh, include examples and details in your response, right? So cultural acceptance or cultural sort of uh, 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 respect, right, that we have. And the response would be this time, I believe that it is important to learn about other cultures for the following reasons. To begin with, your network of friends will grow. For example, we live in a global society. It is common to see foreigners walking around in your neighborhood. If you were to learn about their culture, it would be easy to become friends with them and your network of friends will grow. After all, the more friends you have, the better it is. Uh, furthermore, you will get stressed when you travel, for instance, by becoming familiar with other cultures, such as language, such as their language and manners. It will prevent you from getting stressed when you are traveling. I went to Spain last year and I did not know the language nor manners, so I was under constant stress during my travels because I did not know what I was doing. Uh, therefore, these are the reasons why it is important to learn about other cultures. So they talk about how uh, sort of uh, respecting cultures will help your network of friends grow, right? You will be able to broaden your uh, sort of spectrum of friends, right? And also there might be less uh, stress when you're traveling since you might know people from that culture, right? like Spain, right? Uh, so they uh, had friends and therefore would be, or they uh, knew the language or manners and therefore could be traveling much better, right? In uh, Spain, right? That they give you examples of, right? So once again, uh, there may be different uh, sort of examples that we could come up with. Uh, you could be uh, sort of uh, uh, more involved with activities like international days at your school, by right? perspective of different cultures, right? How it's also a cult school spirit or school culture, right? That each of the school tries to develop, right? That we'll also be able to take a look, right? In this, uh, in this, uh, with this, uh, in this topic, with this topic, right? That we have, right? Uh, so the next uh, assignment that we have, or uh, the topic that we have, would be uh, which quality do you think is important for a member of a team, right? Leadership, cooperation, patience that we have, right? And so another good uh, example would be here. A uh, quality that I think that is important for a member of a team is uh, leadership for the following reasons. And so uh, the next response would be. 
Uh, to begin with, if someone has leadership, it will decrease the level of stress in, a, in the team. For example, a leader will guide the team in the appropriate direction, giving instructions so that the team members will not have to worry about the project at hand. Thus, the level of stress the team members experience will decrease. Uh, furthermore, with someone that has leadership, precious time can be saved. For instance, most of the time, team members argue and extend the time to complete a task. However, if a leader can appoint tasks to each individual, there will be no argument and the team will be able to carry on the project without wasting time. Therefore, I believe a quality that makes someone a valuable member of a team is uh, leadership, right? So once again, uh, if there is a leader or if there are uh, people with leadership, uh, they will be able to have instructions, right? So that will decrease the level of stress in the team. And also uh, there would be more time to complete a task, right? Without having to waste time or uh, without having to argue, right? There'll be a leader who would appoint tasks for each of the individuals and they'll be able to uh, carry on a task much more efficiently, right? Uh, having that in mind, right? They will be able to take a look. Uh, so some people prefer to catch up on current news by watching television news. Uh, other, others prefer to get their news by reading the newspaper. So which method do you prefer right, that we have? And so I prefer to learn about current events by watching television news for the following reasons. Uh, to begin with, it will not be a waste of time. For example, as a student, most of my time is invested in doing homework or studying. So watching the television news will help me save time by having the news news anchor read uh, news anchor read the news to me while I do my homework it would be a waste of time if I were to read the newspaper by myself uh, furthermore watching television will provide me with only the essential information for instance news anchors will read the highlights and important details of the news uh, newspapers tend to write down every single detail which may which might be not so important so a concise news summary would be provided by the television news therefore these are the reasons i prefer to watch television news to keep up with current events so once again uh, people might have different preferences on whether they watch uh, television or read the use for the uh, for uh, acquiring a sort of world events or global events right uh, world news that we have uh, and here they talk about how uh, the television might uh, come up with with the news anchors right there might be more headlines right it's sort of uh, more uh, sort of catchy in a sense right that you'll be able to have access to the uh, sort of information for with uh, the newspaper itself might take a little bit of time maybe during breakfast you might be reading through it uh, so again uh, there might be different sort of purposes for each of the item or uh, medium that we have for newspaper. If you want a detailed sort of uh, a, a lengthy, a detailed sort of account of the news, then maybe you might prefer, if you have some time, you might prefer to read over the news. Whereas uh, if you are running short of time, you might uh, want to uh, catch up on some of the headlines by watching the television. So there might be different preferences for uh, each of the media, right, that we might be able to find. Right. So that will be a great sample uh, response, right, that we have that we would have read through. And uh, the next uh, response that we have would be on the topic of friends are the most important influence in on one slide. And so once again, do you agree or disagree? Right. What's your uh, response to it? Right. And here uh, the sample response would read. Right. Uh, I agree that friends are the most important influence in my life for the following reasons. Uh, to begin with, I spend the most time with my friends. I go to school and uh, them five days a week. I spend additional hours spending with them, studying with them at academies, and I also hang out with them during the weekends. Uh, with countless hours spent together, it is inevitable that I become influenced by my friends. Uh, furthermore, my friends influence me because while uh, we, we are in a similar situation, for instance, as students, we share the burden of maintaining grades. As uh, young adults, we share similar hobbies and interests. Uh, because of similar backgrounds, friends will understand one another and influence each other more. Therefore, these are the reasons why I believe that friends are the most important influence in my life, right? And so once again, uh, friends are the most important influence in one's life. Uh, and so uh, here, once again, to begin with, I spend the most time with my friends, right? Uh, studying with them at academies during the weekends, or countless hours together, and influence by my friends. 
similar situation. So we'll look at uh, friends, right? We we spend spend time with them, right? At school, studying hours, academies, weekends, right? It's inevitable that we spend so much time and that we are actually influenced by them in uh, more ways than we can imagine, right? And sometimes we are in uh, similar situations, right? Of having to maintain grades, right? The burden of maintaining grades. We share uh, similar hobbies, interests, right? Uh, similar backgrounds, right? Our friends understand one another, influence each other. And so once again, uh, we'll be able to sort of take a look at how um, uh, we uh, share many of the interests, we share many of the uh, time together, we share many of our situations, and therefore uh, would we'll be greatly influenced by our friends, right? Uh, likewise, by parents or family members, right? Likewise, teachers, right? Uh, that will also be influenced by, right, in our lives, right? That we'll also be able to sort of address, right? And so once again, uh, we'll come back with more contents, more tutorials in the next uh, video.